Uzi still shaking that ass on TikTok. You know what's so funny? I'm going to give a very... Y'all don't hate me for this opinion, but it's okay. The Uzi I Wanna Rock song... All right. Y'all is a spam hater right now. This song is less about Uzi making it hot rather than this type of music, which is kind of like a Jersey clubish, Baltimore clubish, Philly clubish type music. That's hot. Yo, let me look at the lyrics. Uzi probably says like less than 20 things on this song. Like, look at the lyrics of this song, bro. Like, and maybe I'm a little bit like critical because most of the Uzi songs I really like, like he's saying something on it, whether he's, he's even crying over or singing to like one of his exes. But just listen to this shit. The chorus is damn. Damn. One, two, three, four. Throw up the five. Whoa. This ain't what you want. This ain't what you want. This ain't. Bro, I'm going to keep it real. I know we love Uzi, but this shit ain't hot because of Uzi. This shit hot because of the beat. <laughs> Are we going to keep it a bean? It's some Jersey produ club producer who made this shit. That's the nigga who really got this shit on fire. Of course, Uzi's giving him the platform, but this ain't like I seen Uzi really get shit like sent off. Let me see who's the producer. Let me just look at the producer. The producer is who is the producer? MC Vert and Synthetic. Nigga. Niggas was calling the song classic, and all Uzi said was, damn. Bro, this ain't Uzi. Jersey Club is in. Salute to Bandman Real. Of course, salute to all the originators. DJ Tamil. Salute to DJ J Hood. Salute to everybody who's came to their thing. Of course, you know, salute to DJ Lil Man. Obviously, these are people who've been doing their thing in Jersey Club. I'm glad Jersey Club is having this moment. But I'm going to keep it 100 with you. Like, this new Uzi song, we're not liking it for Uzi. We like it because, bro, right now the wave is Jersey Club music. That's just what it is, bro. Am I tripping? Am I tripping? <laughs> so I said that's like saying Drake last solo tape no I'm not talking about you don't gotta have bars but what I'm saying is that with all due respect to Uzi when I hear I wanna rock you're vibing to the instrumental not what the f Uzi say I'm just being honest with y'all y'all can get mad all y'all want we're vibing to the instrumental my nigga the beat goes hard Tell me, y'all can tell me if I'm a hater it's cool the beat go hard, my nigga. Most Uzi songs, yeah, the beat might go hard, but like, yo, Uzi's like going crazy on it. This shit is just the beat, my nigga. Ah, 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 ah. Like, come on, bro. I'm sorry, bro. Like, what you? Nigga, I can't remember one thing Uzi said other than, I want to rock. Damn. That's it, bro. I'm sorry. I don't care what folks y'all say. Somebody said, that's the point. Oh, no, no. I didn't say that wasn't the point. I'm, I'm just saying that. This song is more of an ode to what's going on with that movement. You know what I mean? And I think maybe Drake's seen something we ain't seen before. Sticky is a kind of wannabe Philly club, Jersey club, um, Baltimore club type, type situation. Right now, Jersey club is in. And we're seeing these artists kind of piggyback off of it. You know what I mean? I think this is a hot song for Uzi. But really, I'm going to just be honest with you. I don't care what y'all say. This is a this is a hotter beat than it's a hotter song. Get mad all y'all want. It's a hotter beat than it's a hotter song. You could take Uzi's vocals straight off that song, niggas. Still gonna dance to this. Just leave the ad libs. No, just just take the take any rapping off of it. Leave the ad libs. That ah, ah, like niggas still going go crazy. Uzi's from Philly. Who made the song? Nigga, the producers from Jersey. Stop it. Stop it, brother. I'm going to just take this shot just because I love y'all. This is Henny. It's going to give me a little tweak. Holy. I got to give me the 75 really for this, but it's all good.
Oh my god, I'm spilling. Terrible take. It's a terrible take because you're Uzi fan. Here's my full point on Uzi. This song don't make me feel like. They don't. This don't make me feel like Uzi's in his bag yet. When Uzi drops a song that makes me feel like he's in his bag, I, I, I'll tell y'all. Like, of course, like, I'm glad Uzi's in the middle of, like, Times Square doing some Jabawaki shit. I, I, I love all that shit. That shit is great. I ain't, I ain't mad about it. I don't really think I can't do them dance. It's all good. I ain't, I ain't tight about it. I'm just trying to say this is more about the genre being lit. And I know because some of y'all, because most of y'all are like hypocrites now, y'all were the ones who were telling me a couple months ago Uzi fell off. I'm just saying if y'all felt that Uzi needed to prove something to y'all, I don't think this is the proof. This song is a byproduct of the genre and the type of music that kids are f***ing with now. You know what I mean? Which I believe has been a combination of New York, New Jersey, which also extends to Philly. And obviously you got to salute to Baltimore. Once Drill start bringing in dancing back into it and that getting sturdy shit, niggas finally starting to dance. Remember, there was a time that New York niggas was too gangster to dance. Remember, even Fat Joe said, gangsters, we don't dance. We just pull up our pants and do the rock away, lean back. No, niggas these days, you see these niggas getting sturdy? Niggas is on their hands. They doing all type of shit, b-boy shit, spin on their head, uh, 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 like all of that shit. I'm like, yo, y'all got it. All I'm just trying to say, somebody says, exactly, you can't do the dance, which actually clouds your judgment on the song. Are you f***ing stupid? Do you not understand what I'm trying to say? It's like me saying this. Dr Let me use a rapper that y'all know I could relate to. Drake making Tussie Slide was not that Drake was in his bag. That's a nigga trying to take advantage of a culture that was a TikTok culture, and he made a song that TikTok would eat up. Dummy. That's not Drake be nice. So Uzi making this I Wanna Rock song, it's not Uzi being amazing. It's him taking advantage of the culture that likes this fast-paced music that like to dance. Are you fucking stupid? I'm not hating on dancing songs. But there's some of y'all are acting like this song is really all for the beat. I don't listen to it like, oh, yeah, Uzi say nothing. This is the mode that is being taken advantage of. And by the way, I don't blame him. Uzi been a dancer. It's, it's natural. I'm not saying he's like. No vulture, no like, bro. Uzi's been a dancer. Uzi's been, yo, Uzi's from Philly. Uzi, one of them niggas, you could go back to old videos. Uzi used to be Wu Tang, and I don't know if y'all know what that is. Uzi used to be dancing to shit like this. So it's a full circle moment for Uzi. I'm not saying like he's doing nothing wrong. I'm just saying that for the people who have been questioning his musical, his musical focus at the moment, and if you are like me that love songs like, whether it's 7 a.m., P's and Q's, whether it's Buy It and other songs, this song is a hype song. It showcases a dance. It is cool. It is a hit. It is popping. I like it. Don't you worry. I know I can't do all of this, but I do like it. This doesn't mean that Uzi is popping. This means that the genre is popping. The genre of this type of beat and this type of dance. Just like when Drake made Tussy Slide, it meant that the that he was taking advantage of the TikTok era and the TikTok the the oh let's get a dance to hook onto a to a song. I'm not saying the song was trash, but it's in it. Nobody would ever play Tussy Slide as like oh yeah Drake really killed this shit. Even though the second verse he was talking crazy on it. <laughs> that second verse that Drake had on Tussy Slide, I ain't gonna lie to you. I don't know who he was beefing with. Tussie Slide. Only thing with Drake, Drake is so lyrically good. 
even when it's a even when it's a, a because you gotta realize Tussie Sly was basically him trying to do hotline bling again, right? I don't know if y'all niggas know he clearly was d trying to do it again, but he was trying to do it again with TikTok vibes. But of course, hotline bling Drake was seen as corny and he embraced it. These days, Drake is fucking thugged out with 15 million tattoos and fucking talking about, yo, when I see drum, I made that bitch-ass nigga cha-cha slide. Drake don't want to be seen as the goofy nigga no more, okay? That's why when you heard Hotline Bling, he's in a video like this. Tussie Slide, he's masked up, like, dancing, acting like he might have a pistol under his shit. That's just some real shit. Drake has been, look, the, the second verse was kind of devious. Look. Tussie slide, then I hit a double time, then I hit a spin, cause we spun they block a couple times, and if it's not the right time, there'll be another time. I ain't even tripping. We gonna see them in the summertime. Can't describe the pressure I be putting on myself. Really can't afford to lose nobody else if they moving shaky. We just do it. We just do the shit ourselves. If I'm moving shaky, if that hand moving shaky, said Chubb's gonna do the shit himself. Solo niggas, only, only YOLO for real. I ain't gonna lie, he was talking some shit on here. I'm like, damn, Drake be, Drake be sliding? <laughs> Drake be sliding? <laughs> Somebody said Drake forever goofy, man. Stop playing with Drizzy, man. But that's what it is. No, it's all good. So here's my point. I want to rock. I fuck with it. But Uzi really got to come with a real Uzi track. Like, that's like him trying to pop shit off with that new Paddock shit. No, brother. Come with a real Uzi track. 